All right, the formula for present value of an annuity is PV is equal to A times one minus one plus I to the negative N over I. Okay, and just for your reference, I've written them down here. Again, so you don't have to watch me write them out. I already did that. Present value, uh, so this is going to be the value at the beginning of this period. Annuity is going to be how much you're going to be withdrawing. Um, I is your compounded interest rate annually, and N is the number of years. So the, the reason we would do a problem like this uh, it would be for problems uh, like... For example, if you wanted to withdraw, let's say, $30,000 a year when you retire, and you plan on being retired for 20 years, uh, how much do you need in the bank at the beginning of your retirement to, uh, you know, to make this happen uh, if your account is compounded inter annually at some interest rate? So let's fill this out. Let's say, so we're going to look for how much money do we need at the beginning of our retirement um, if we want to pull out $30,000 at the end of each year. Um, for 20 years, assuming uh, you know 20 years after retirement, we just won't need money anymore for some reason. Um, and let's say that our interest rate is 3% compounded annually. So in the formula, we express this as a 0 0.03. All right. Well, first of all, the answer is not $600,000. If you just multiplied 30,000 times 20 and got $600,000, that you, know, you might think to do that, but that's wrong because you're uh, you're actually going to be accumulating some interest on your on your balance on your present value balance. You know that three percent as we go, even though you're withdrawing, uh, we're still going to be getting that interest rate. So it'll actually be less than six hundred thousand dollars. So let's find out what it is. So we have PV is equal to A is thirty thousand times all of this stuff. So we have one minus um, 1 plus, make sure that looks like a 1, plus 0 0.03 um, to the power of negative 20, right? That's a negative N. Make sure that you have that negative sign there. And this is all over 0 0.03. All right. So if we go ahead, uh, we can, we, I guess we can combine this um, if you want to simplify it a little bit. Um, I just write out all the steps, but you know, maybe in practice you won't be doing all of these individual steps. So we'll have 30,000 times 1 minus 1.03 to the power of negative 20, uh, all over 0 0.03. Uh, and now if you just go ahead in your calculator and you just carry out the rest of these steps, you'll find that the present value of this annuity is going to be uh, 446,324, $324.25. So this basically means that if you, by the time, the day you, uh, by the day you retire, if you have $446,000 and the rest of this, 324, 25, um, then for the next 20 years, you'll be able to withdraw $30,000 at the end of the year. And you know, at the end of this, uh, on their last withdrawal, you'll have zero dollars.